Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a story time. This is the second story time I've done. The first one I'm gonna put down below if you guys wanna check it out, you can. I'm gonna talk about the first time I got arrested. Yes, Tony De La Rocha got arrested for uh, drinking in public and buying alcohol for uh, minors. Need to remind you this, that I didn't know they were under age. They were 18 and 20, I believe. Oh no, 19 and 20. It was these two friends that one of my best friends at the time invited. So I had no idea they were gonna be there. Anyway, so we decided to meet up at a hookah lounge. It was a Friday night. So we went to Tempe, Arizona for this. It's an area called Mill Avenue. It's right next to the ASU campus. So there's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a lot of drunken idiots. And so we decided to go to a hookah lounge there. And uh, yeah, after we hung out, we decided to go to the nearby liquor store and buy some beers. And I was the one that purchased the beers. All of a sudden we just started drinking in the car. Not realizing that there was a couple cops around us who have been watching us, you know, buy the liquor, go to that parking lot in the dark and drink there. Um, all of a sudden we hear like a knock on the window. It's like those cops that are on the bikes. There was those type of cops and uh, yeah. I was on the pass passenger side and then my, at the time, best friend was right next to me. She was, it was her car. I was holding my beer. I literally saw the cop and dropped it, fell all over the place. So it reeked like freaking beer in the car. And so I, we put the windows down. They asked us what we were doing. We're like, nothing, we're just getting ready to leave. And they smelled the liquor and they're like, oh, well, we've been watching you guys and we saw you guys going and to the liquor store buying beer and coming here and drinking it at the parking lot. I'm like, okay, well, First of all, why the fuck were you watching us like that? <laughs> anyway, so we got out of the car and uh, they started asking us questions. And yeah, they asked who bought the beer and I remained quiet for a little bit until I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna tell it was me. So I told the cop it was me, I bought the beer. Like what, what, what's the problem? And then I they ID'd us and the two underage minors, you know, they saw their IDs and they saw they were, 18 and or 19 and 20 and I was they were like, okay, well you bought liquor to underage kids I kept telling the cop I had no idea they were underage like of course They're not gonna tell me they're underage, but still so They asked us so many questions um, one of my friends <laughs> uh, One of my friends that was with me that was his first time hanging out with me He recently moved to Arizona and sent me a message through Facebook. I think it was or Instagram I don't remember what it was but he sent me a message saying uh you know i'm new uh, i don't have friends here and so i invited him out to hang out with me and my friends and that was his first time hanging out with us and getting in trouble with the cops <laughs> the more i think about it the more i feel bad of that situation of this new kid who just moved here and right away got in trouble with the law and yeah it was just a group of friends that we were hanging out with. They weren't good at all. They partied till like 7 a.m., drank a lot, smoked a lot, did a lot of drugs. And I don't know, I was just like, what the hell am I doing here? So that situation made me reconsider the type of friends that I had back then. Uh, but yeah, we got our tickets. Um, you know, one of my friends, I don't know if he forgot his ID or I don't know what the issue was. I don't remember what it was. But he was, you know, they put handcuffs on him and was getting ready to put him behind the cop's car. And he was freaking out. I was looking at him like, I am sorry, you know. <laughs> I am sorry that this is the first time you're hanging out with me and my friends and this is what's going on. But they ended up letting him go. They ended up letting us all go, but they gave us a ticket. We all had a court date that we all had to go together and they gave us different type of things. Um, to them, they gave them some sort of classes. I don't know what it was, but to me, I had to do 10 hours of community service, which I did. And um, I did it with the YMCA. That's right near by my house. And honestly, those were the best 10 hours of community service I've ever done. Honestly, they were so much fun. The guy who was in charge of me during that whole 10 hours, which weren't even 10 hours, they were only five hours, but 
he wrote down that I did 10 and I'm good to go. But it was fun. It was Easter Sunday where I had to do my community service. That's when I was scheduled to do it. And they were like handing out breakfast to people. You know, they had games, they had lunch. Uh, and I was just there handing out food and chit chatting with the employees and eating and just having a good time. That's how my 10 hours of community service were. I did my 10 hours. I did my, my 10 hours supposedly. And then I was done. I got that removed out of my record. It was honestly an experience I will never forget, honestly. Obviously, you know, being arrested, how are you gonna forget something like that? But um, yeah, it was just so weird. The group of friends that I had were really just not, not good people. Friends have to reconsider the type of friends that you have and kind of, you know, create new friends. Get rid of all the negativity and bad influences around you. Um, that's what you need to do sometimes, and that's what I did. Um, when I got arrested and the whole deal, that whole situation happened, I really had to reconsider new friends, and, and I did, and I haven't talked to them in so many years. I know a few of them still follow my social media. I don't know if they watch me on YouTube or anything, but I know a few of them do follow me on social media, on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. But yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I don't want to go through that experience ever again. It was so embarrassing. But I mean, when you're stuck in a situation like that and not knowing who you're hanging out with or, you know, not expecting people to tell you how old they are when they hang out with you. And so, yeah, it's just a situation I never want to be in anymore. And yeah, get rid of all that shit. That was a few years back when that happened. It was just a situation that I was put in. And yeah, never again. Never again get rid of the negativity and bad influences, people. Please, please. So that's what I did. Even even now, like recently, I've had stopped talking to a lot of friends who bring on, bring so much negative to my life, so much negativity to my life. You know, me doing my YouTube and my working with companies, with social media and being an influencer, a lot of people don't get that. A lot of my old friends never understood what it was. They always made fun of it. You always talk shit, you know, they always make fun of it. So those type of people you don't want in your life, honestly. You don't. And I know a few of you that I've stopped talking to still watch my videos. And yeah, there's no reason for you to be negative to people when you don't even understand what they're doing. You know, they're doing a lot better than you are. And so face it. Sometimes people don't understand or sometimes it's just jealousy. But just get rid of all that bullshit and you will be fine. Trust me. Surround yourself with people who are doing the same things you're doing, who have the same passion, and who are proud of what you're doing and how you're doing it. Honestly, that's what you need. Thank you. Anyways, you guys like my new hat? I just got it uh, today, actually. It got in today from ASOS. It's called the Uniform Hat. I love the color, it's like a khaki nude color. Anyways guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I have several other story times to tell you, but I think I'm gonna do every Tuesday of the week, I'm gonna do a story time for you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.